One of my viewers on this channel recently just asked me a really good question and I thought I'd make an entire video about it for anybody wondering. So the question was, how do I see my photos on my iPhone on my Mac without plugging it in? Now there's a few different ways that you can go about doing this, but the way I'm going to show you in today's video is by using my photo stream. And this is one of the oldest ways that Apple has to see your iPhone photos on your Mac without actually plugging it in. And yes, you can beam them over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything like that as well manually. But the cool thing about this feature is that it's totally automatic. So in order for this to work, you need two things. One, you need a Mac computer, as you can see here, and you also need an iPhone. Basically how this works is once you take a picture on your iPhone, that same picture will automatically get beamed over to your Mac computer. As you can see, the pictures on the phone here match the pictures on my computer screen, and I did not have to upload these manually. So in order to find these settings, this is what you're gonna need to do. First, you need to open the Photos app on your computer, like so, and then go up to Photos and then Preferences. And then you need to make sure that this box here is checked, My Photo Stream, okay? Not iCloud Photos, this is a totally separate thing. If you check this, then what's gonna happen is your iCloud storage is gonna get backed up really fast, and then basically they're gonna be bothering you daily saying, hey, you don't have enough um, iCloud storage. So this is definitely not the option. Make sure you don't check this. This is not going to help you. You wanna have My Photo Stream checked. And, and as you can see, it says, upload your last 30 days of new photos and view them on your other devices using My Photo Stream. So eventually how this happens is once you start taking enough pictures, the amount of pictures that show will eventually be reduced to your most recent pictures if you take a lot of pictures. So for example, if you took a thousand pictures in the last 30 days and you take another thousand pictures, then you're probably only gonna see the most recent thousand pictures. And the cool thing about this feature is that it doesn't actually take up space on your iCloud, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. You can actually do this and it doesn't take up any of your free iCloud storage space since Apple only gives you five gigabytes by default. So that's a nice thing. So you first need to make sure that this setting is checked on your Mac. Now the next setting that you're gonna need to make sure that this is working properly is you need to go to your settings on your iPhone, okay? And then you go to the same Photos app, and then you also want to make sure that the same box is checked, My Photo Stream. And once again, do not check the iCloud Photos, only My Photo Stream. And then the last step that you need to do to make sure this is all working properly is that the Wi-Fi network that you use with both your iPhone and your Mac need to be the same. If you're only using cellular data, for example, and Wi-Fi on your Mac, this iCloud Photo Stream Sync will not work. So you need to make sure that both devices are always on the same Wi-Fi, and then basically it will start happening automatically. Now, I do wanna give you two little warnings here. After many years of myself doing this, one thing that can happen is you can end up getting a lot of duplicate photos. I don't have any here, I don't think, right now but um, I do see them sometimes. Like this right here, you can see there's a couple duplicate photos because what can happen is if you actually want to transfer some photos over manually sometimes, it seems like the Photos app on the Mac is still not smart enough to recognize duplicates and what happens oftentimes is it will bring in that same photo twice. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So that's the first thing to watch out for. Um, and the second thing is that be patient because the moment you snap the picture, it's not going to appear immediately in your My Photo Stream. Sometimes it will, but sometimes it can take, you know, up to an hour or so. So just keep that in mind, because sometimes what I used to do is I would plug the phone in thinking, hey, where's all my photos? And then I would end up getting those duplicates because I would import them manually. And then later on, My Photo Stream would sync them and then I'd have duplicates, which is, you know, a pain. So. Those are two things you wanna watch out for, and that's it. That's how you sync your iPhone photos to your Mac without ever plugging it in. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out the next one on the screen, and I'll catch you guys over in the next one.